the accused. Sir, so, as a matter of procedure, uh, can the Senator for Kiambu address you as the chair, not Mr. Speaker? All right. Thank you. Chair, <laughs> Mr. Chair. <laughs> Senator Mandago, relax. It is normal to have a slip of the tongue, but in any case, sometimes I can be so imposing that uh, the young Thangwa sees a speaker in me. Yeah. Thangwa, can you proceed? <laughs> Yeah, probably. So, Mr. Speaker, I'm, I'm talking about all I see is an accuser and the accused. The governor is the accused. The accuser was the mover of the motion. And I believe the accuser was to come with the witnesses. And so, the governor herself should also come with her witnesses. So, she must stand on the dock. And the moment we started this um, uh, hearing, the charges were read, and she pleaded not guilty. So how come now the governor cannot stand on the dock to be cross-examined on what she pleaded uh, not guilty? Mr. Speaker, I remember yesterday, and I'm trying to help the council uh, from the governor's side, because now I've started reading mischief. We were doing well. Everything was going on well. But yesterday, I remember there was a Catholic priest. And Mr. Speaker, he said he was here because of how he felt, because of his feelings. I'm trying to imagine the gentleman standing here is also here because of how he's feeling about the governor. So do you want me to judge the governor from how the gentleman feels so I urge, and, and I would want to assist the, 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 the side of the governor, the governor is accused. And the issue here is more egocentric than constitutional. We would want to hear, we are, we are here to see, maybe we must start judging the governor. That's the way she is, she doesn't talk to people. She doesn't want even to hear. I don't want to do that now. But I'm trying to help the side of the governor. The accused should stand there so that we can ask those questions. She's seen on TV uh, uh, making utterances, roadside declarations, and then you tell us to examine a chief officer who is not even per se a civil servant. It's more of an organizer of a government, the, 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 the caretaker, the T. I I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. So, uh, Mr. Speaker, for this house to be taken, Chairperson, for this house to be taken with the seriousness it deserves, the governor must stand on the dock. Thank you. I think the final submission is from the Senator of Lamu. Thank you, Chair. Chair, I want to agree with other members that it is the governor that the 62 accusations has been leveled against her. And uh, in fact, the governor was elected by the good people of Meru. They are watching. They want to hear how the governor is going to exonerate herself 